lovely to be with you again this morning. Welcome to worship, or if you're watching this this afternoon or this evening, welcome. If you have your sheep still, you can take it now, because Jesus, our Good Shepherd, welcomes us again today into this place. I'm going to take my sheep and I'm going to place it in the green pasture behind me with the Good Shepherd. And we can greet each other now with our hands and our voices that God has given us. And we'll say, the Lord be with you and also with you. Well, you can look on our calendar behind me and I am going to move our arrow one more week forward. So one more Sunday, we've moved into our green growing ordinary time. So I'm gonna move it one more square here today. As we get closer and closer to Advent coming up. Well, here we are again together in this place, in your place, and as we always say, God is with us. The Holy Spirit is here. I can feel the Holy Spirit inside of me, and I hope that you can too. If you would like to um, sing some songs, you can pause the video here and look at our playlist or just sing some songs together in your home and I will end the song time with Be Still and Know. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that That helps us get ready to hear our story for today. Our story from God's Word. So I'm going to get ready here. Sorry, we're pulling our screen down. This is the desert box. Inside of it is a small <clears throat> piece of the desert. So many important things happen in the desert that we just have to have a small piece of it here in our room. Well, <clears throat> the desert is a strange and wild place. At night it is very cold and in the day it's burning hot from the sun. There's almost no water at all. The desert is always changing. The wind comes, and as it blows, it shapes and molds. So the desert is never the same. Well, once, Abram and Sarai lived in the beautiful city of Haran. The one 
true God loved Abram and Sarai. And one day, God said to them, Move from your home. I will give you a new home and a new land. It's all right to go. I will be with you and I will bless you. And I will make you a blessing. Abram and Sarai looked across the desert it would be sad to leave their home and their friends. They wondered if, if they would be safe. Would God be with them? Abram and Sarai went. They trusted the one true God to show them the way. They came to Shechem in the land of Canaan. God had been with them in Haran, but would God be here too? Then God said to them, look, look at all this land. I will give this land to your children. Abram and Sarai were so happy that God was with them, they couldn't help but give thanks to God. So they built a special place, an altar. And they prayed their thanks to God. Then they moved on to a place near Bethel. And God was there too. Abram and Sarai were so happy that God was with them, they couldn't help but give thanks to God. So they built an altar. And they prayed their thanks to God. Then there came a great famine, so there was not enough food to eat. They were very hungry. So Abram and Sarai moved to the land of Egypt for food. Abram was scared. He was scared of the people in Egypt. He forgot that God had promised to be with them. But God did not forget. God kept Abram and Sarai safe. The Egyptians were good to them. He gave them food and animals. Abram and Sarai moved back to the land of Canaan. The land God promised to give them to a place called Hebron. Abram and Sarai wondered if God would be here too. God had been with them in Haran and in Shechem and near Bethel. And in Egypt? Would God be in Hebron too? Then God said to them, I will give you many children to live in this land. Abram and Sarai were so happy that God was with them. They couldn't help but give thanks to God. So they built an altar and prayed their thanks to 
the one true God who was with them. Now Abram and Sarai knew that the one true God who spoke to them and showed them the way was with them in every place and in every time just as God promised. Well, I wonder if you think about this story. I wonder how Abram and Sarai felt when they were told to move to a new home. I wonder how it felt to leave their home when they were told to move, but to not know where they were going. I wonder if if you've ever gone somewhere and didn't know where you were going. I wonder what God was doing when Abram and Sarai were traveling from place to place. God is when you go from place to place. I wonder how many places God can be. Well, we know for sure that God can be here in this room with me. And God can be there in your room with you, wherever you are. And we know from our, our candle, when we light our candle, our Christ candle, that Jesus Christ is here with us, that he's come. And if you have your candle that you just got last week, you can grab that and you can turn it on all by yourself. And you can remember this week that God is with you wherever you go, whether you're at home, whether you're at school, whether you're traveling in between, God is with you. And when I change the lights now, we know that the Holy Spirit stays with us. And as we go from this place, we can pass the peace of Christ around to each of the people with you. So peace of Christ be with you till next week.